Hi there, Inter Ghost here and I'm here with Jack and today we're just doing a quick video talking about a game we both finished and it is... Far Cry 3 Far Cry 3 uh, I'm going to do this uh, type of video every so often because my plan is to complete as many games as I can rather than just starting them and not finishing them and there's a lot of games on the PlayStation 3, the GameCube, the Wii, the Wii U which are classic games which um, I've got in my collection but I've never really played enough of them or I've never completed them so I thought we'll start completing the games and then I'll show a game I'm going to play next so the first one is one which is quite popular and it's the Far Cry series. Uh, I did play Far Cry 1 on the PC years ago uh, but didn't really get into it. It's uh, I'm not really a big first person shooter fan but played the third one because um, I like this main character, like the baddie character in this one and uh, I played a little bit of it and I enjoyed it so I kept playing it and completed it and I think you completed it first, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so do you want to tell them what it's about? What happens in the game? So you start off with just a different clips of you and your your friends, but then you, I think you wake up and this guy is there and he shoots your brother. Then for some reason he lets you run away. Yeah. So he can chase you. He's a bit crazy. He like he wants to hunt you down so he lets you go and you start running through the um the forest on the island. And you meet like a tribe and you have to do different missions with like getting different materials, shooting, like defeating bases and taking over towers which get the which get used more than map more of the map. Yeah. So it's a bit like there's a lot of games which are like this, so with the towers you climb up to the top of the tower, it's a bit like Assassin's Creed or um Saboteur, games like that, where the the map is um in darkness but if you climb up to the top of a tower you unlock it and it unlocks a big area of the map so you can see what what is surrounding it um, and then it also opens up different missions like hunting missions um, missions to go and kill people like assassination missions um, and things like that and it's quite a big game I don't know how long it took us a week, yeah just over a week so a couple of weeks at most I did a little bit more than Jack I did a bit more sort of searching for the um, side quests and that sort of thing I normally like going like straight along the main mission I don't normally take side missions that much yeah so Jack tried to go um, straight through the game uh, but what you have to do also is like your weapon pouches and your guns and that sort of thing you can upgrade them and the way to upgrade them is by hunting animals and using their skins to make better packs so you can carry more stuff carry more bullets and stuff like that so if you do those side missions then you get better guns and things like that so that you can complete the main missions easier um, it is 18 there's quite a bit of bad language in it um, violence because of the guns definitely violence, <laughs> definitely violence. Uh, but the actual graphics for a PlayStation 3 ga game you know, are really good. Uh, the island looks really cool, uh, it's really colourful. Uh, I like games where they have a lot of colour in it. I don't like things like in Skyrim where it's just all browns or greys or things like that. I like it when you've got the different, you've got the greens of the jungle, you've got the blue sea, you've got the beaches. And um, yeah, it's really good fun. You can drive vehicles and uh, you can't fly anything in this game, so you can't fly helicopters or planes or anything like that. But you do get a like, um, what do they call it, like a wingsuit 
Yeah. So when you jump off the top of mountains, you can glide with a wing, uh, wingsuit and you can get a glider as well. So there are a few different vehicles you can use. And um, there's like speed boats. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so there's boats, yeah, and there's also um, jet skis. There's some boats and cars with turrets on the back, so you just click a button and you go into the turret and you can. Yeah, you use the turrets to shoot at people. Um, yeah, and also it's a really interesting story because you've got this guy who's like a real crazy guy, he does like hunting you down and uh, torturing people and that sort of thing. So, good story, and um, it's quite funny at the end because Jack completed it first, and there's two different endings. And he did the good ending, uh, but he didn't tell me. And then when I completed it, he told me to wait, and then he said, uh, choose the other ending. And I did that, and it was the bad ending. And uh, I won't say what happens because it spoiled the ending, but yeah. yeah, so there are two different endings a good one and a bad one. Jack got the good one, I got the bad one. Uh, yeah, so that's good. I think this is only like a pound or a couple of pounds in the shops, and it's well worth it. Still plays really well. Uh, hasn't aged um, badly and I would say definitely pick it up mm -hmm. yeah yeah I'd probably give it seven out of ten I'd probably give it like nine nine mm. I like that game and the good thing is at the end once you completed it you can just go around and complete all the side missions and yeah. go explore yeah so there's loads of other stuff to unlock so you can sort of hundred percent the game in there Get all the different um, challenges and side quests and all that so you can go back into the game after you complete it. Now the game I'm playing next um, I'm playing it now. Yeah I've just started playing this and it's called Borderlands. So again it's a first person shooter game which um, I'm not really that into but this is one of those games which everyone's played and uh, mm -hmm. is really cool. Not you, you, you weren't born probably. When did this come out? I don't know. But um, yeah, I think the third one's out now. And uh, yeah, I really love the art style on this. And I started it a couple of times in the past and never actually uh, got very far into it. And just started it again and I'm enjoying it. So hopefully we'll finish this one and I'll talk about that in the next video. Thanks for watching, please remember to leave a comment if you played Far Cry 3, let me know what you think about it, and thumb up the video, and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. We'll see you later, bye! bye.